The Cognitech TriSuite software package includes Cognitech Video Investigator, Cognitech Video Active, and Cognitech Auto Measure. Auto Measure is Cognitech's comprehensive image processing platform for accurately measuring objects or people. One of Auto Measure's primary functions, camera calibration, will be covered in this interactive tutorial. Welcome to the Cognitech Auto Measure camera calibration tutorial. Cognitech Auto Measure is a tool for measuring people, objects, accidents, and crime scenes in any photo or video frame, provided that you can return to the scene to take additional photos or to take remaining object measurements. Camera calibration accounts for optical distortion, but it also provides important information used in the measurement projects. This interactive tutorial will focus on helping you get started with auto measure camera calibration projects. The Cognitech calibration pattern is a unique pattern that auto measure recognizes. This pattern is provided in auto measures help menu. The pattern can be printed or viewed on a monitor or tablet. There are two methods for pattern display, printed on a flat rigid poster or displayed on a monitor or tablet. A digital test pattern must be displayed on a computer monitor that retains the original 17 by 11 aspect ratio and an actual size of 8.5 by 11 or larger. The printed test pattern must be 8.5 by 11 or larger, maintaining the 17 by 11 aspect ratio, and be affixed firmly to a flat board so that no ripples appear on the pattern. Five angles must be taken of the camera calibration pattern. It is important to fit as much of the pattern in the frame as possible while excluding any other objects. Alternatively, the camera can be rotated to achieve the same angles while the camera is stationary on a computer monitor or fixed poster. This test pattern is not flat. Notice the ripples in the pattern. Printed patterns must be completely flat. This picture is too close. Too many rows are cut off from the original pattern. This picture is too far. Too little of the pattern covers the picture. At least 90% of the picture should be covered by the pattern. If any background is visible, make sure the background is uniform. This picture is too blurry. Take stable pictures for the best results. This is a proper front angle. Very little non-pattern content is present and no dots are cut off. This is a proper left angle. As many rows as possible are present and the frame is completely filled with the pattern. Angled pictures should be taken at approximately 30 degrees. A correct angle maintains the largest amount of pattern content without becoming flat. Once calibration images have been taken, you are ready to start a camera calibration project. Getting a camera calibration project in Cognitech Auto Measure will always start with the project wizard. Click the project wizard icon now to open the project wizard. All projects in Auto Measure start with the project wizard. This is the project wizard. To start a camera calibration project, select camera calibration. Camera calibration will correct optical distortion, calculate the focal length of the camera, find the focal plane position of the optical center of the camera, and determine the relative size of pixel elements. Click Finish to open the camera calibration project. Calibration can be performed with Auto Measure Camera Calibration as soon as you have captured five pictures of the test pattern. Click the Load Images step from the Steps pane to load the calibration images. Here we have five proper calibration images. Click Open to load these images. Camera calibration in Auto Measure is automatic and requires no further information. Click the Calibrate Camera step in the Steps pane to create a calibration file from these images. The calibration was successful with all directions found. Click Close to move on to the next step. Camera information is captured from the camera metadata, but it can be customized by the user. 
This information is purely aesthetic and will not affect the calibration process. Click OK to move on to the next step. The calibration file is now saved for later use in any of the measure projects. Click Save to move on to the next step. A camera calibration file can be associated with these images to illustrate the distortion correction. Right click on an image to associate these images with the calibration file. A list of available calibration files are available in the associate with menu. Open the associate with menu and choose the Olympus calibration file we just created. Click correct distortion to apply the calibration file to these images. Double click on the front image to display it in the display workspace. The corrected and distorted version of this image can be compared with the show corrected images option in the display tab of the tools pane. Click the right arrow on the tools pane to reveal the display tab. Click on the display tab. Toggle the show corrected images checkbox to AB between the corrected and distorted versions of the image. Congratulations, you have now successfully created a camera calibration file with AutoMeasure's camera calibration project. Calibrating images is an essential part of making accurate measure projects. If you would like to start from the beginning, click Restart. For sales or technical questions, contact us at sales at Cognitech.com or tech support at Cognitech.com or visit us at www.cognitech.com.